There are many different kinds of painting sets. We can have uh, small sets, we can have large sets, uh, sometimes two paintings, not normally for Buddhists, usually three paintings is the smallest, would be the smallest set, but we can have as many as 43 or uh, even up towards the hundreds, uh, but usually not uh, in a large format. If you have really upwards of um, 50, 80, over 100, then they would generally be small format works. Um, otherwise, it's just very expensive to, to prepare and to uh, afford and to have all the artists to create such large uh, 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 sets of compositions. But one interesting set that comes from Bhutan uh, formerly came out of the Euchre collection out of Switzerland, before that Bhutanese. The style of the painting is Bhutanese. Now I'm dating it to the, really the 19th century, but it's possible it's early 19th century, late 18th century. The, the set of paintings is depicting approximately 142, 143 uh, iconographic forms, so deity figures. And this is based on a text called the uh, uh, Sadhana Samuchaya, or the sometimes the Sadhana Mala is, uh, is definitely related to it. In, in India, the Sanskrit text Sadhana Mala is a compilation text that is really created by uh, Bhattacharya and published, I think, around 1923. Uh, possibly out of Baroda, and and uh, he went around India try and Nepal trying to collect uh, Sanskrit fragments of this. But early on in Tibet, from the um, possibly mid 12th century, late 12th century, then we have translations of this of a complete text. Uh, so the Tibetan translation of the Sanskrit is more original than the Sanskrit uh, uh, fragments, which are all incomplete. So the Tibetan is complete, and the Bhutanese is complete. But, based on this Sadhana Samuchaya and the Tibetan version, the Tibetan version is generally called the Druptap Gyatso, so the ocean of sadhanas, the, the ocean of uh, meditation practices. And uh, they can vary, they can vary. There are different edited versions. We have the original edited version, uh, I believe it was done by a Trokpa Gelson, but not the Sakya Trokpa Gelson, a different. It was to be a Tropu Trokpa Gelson. And, and, uh, but then there were later edited versions that were easier to follow and to practice. And the point of this text is to collect as many of the often uh, miscellaneous meditation forms, which are usually smaller, they're usually Kriya Tantra, uh, sometimes charya, and to put them all in one volume uh, with the meditation and the initiation text, and it makes it easy for the teacher then to give the initiations. But different traditions would have slightly different ways of, of uh, phrasing things, and so different edited versions arose. Now, for this set, we have the this is a Drupakagu uh, uh, based set, and we do know that it was the ninth J. Kempo, Shakya Rinchen. He lived between 1710 and 1759, and he wrote one of these edited versions, which is very popular within the Drupakagu of Bhutan, and it has approximately 142, 143 different deity forms. So what we have that we can be looking at today is, is a set of uh, only five known paintings from the larger set. The larger set, because it has between 10 and 15 figures per painting, uh, then it could be an 11 painting to a 15 or 17 painting set. So it would have up to maybe 17 compositions uh, based on the number of deities in each painting. And so the painting that I'm particularly uh, looking at is of a green Tara. We have others. We have Avalokiteshvara, we have Ekajati, we have, uh, uh, I believe it's a Mahabala, possibly. Could be a Vajrapani. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not paying too much attention to the others. I'm looking at a green Tara. And the green Tara is a large central figure. 
There are eight smaller green Taras uh, so to the sides and, and below her, and these and this, these represent Tara, uh, the eight protecting from the eight fears. Now, what's really interesting is at the top we have seven figures. All of these seven figures are forms of Kurukula. Kurukula is a power goddess. There's different forms: one faced, two arms, one faced, four arms. Uh, primarily red, sometimes white. Uh, but because there's not enough space in the composition, the artist has placed them all in a seating posture. Uh, now, some of them do belong in a seating posture, such as the white, and I believe one of the red, but the, but the other uh, five reds should be standing in a dancing posture, but they're not. The artist, for convenience, has placed them all in a seated posture. Down below, we have uh, four forms of Sarasvati and one form of Brikuti. The Brikuti is uh, yellow in color, uh, the Sarasvatis, two white ones and two red ones. And so it's very interesting how the artist is uh, fitting these different figures based on a text, a text of 142, 143 deities, and how he's placing them into a composition. And by looking at the other uh, four paintings that are known from this set of currently five, um, then you can also place them into what order they follow, and you can also determine which deities are missing, and then you can come to an approximation of how many paintings are in this uh, this set, uh, which depicts the, the Druptap Gyatso of the Ninth J Kempo Shakya Rinchen. Just an introduction into painting sets. Uh, you can press the like button, you can share, you can subscribe, you can also join us uh, on HAR on Patreon and help support the work we do.